This is a Taoist piece of music written by an emperor about Mount Wudang. In his entire lifetime, this emperor only wrote this one piece. Called Ming Dynasty Imperial Music, it's one of the greatest works of Taoist music. This music profoundly and beautifully expresses the emperor's gratitude to and reverence for Xuan Wu, the principal god of Mount Wudang. In 2010, the Taoist Orchestra of Mount Wudang went on an overseas performing tour before the piece was designated by UNESCO as part of the world's oral and intangible heritage. At the time, the Chinese Taoist Association wanted to open every performance with this piece, but there was a problem. Due to the passage of time, all that remained of it was a small collection of simple tunes passed down from one generation of Taoist monks to the next. Taoist Master Wu is the head of the Purple Mountain Palace Management Board. The present focus of his work is to coordinate with experts at the Wuhan Conservatory of Music to recreate this great work. Xianzi 但是没有他的这个气氛，没有他的这种效果，达不到他那个壮丽，回放使人啊受到灵魂的洗礼这东西。For Taoists, the goal of performing Taoist music is to commune with the heavenly spirits. So, when passing Taoist traditions from generation to generation, they pay great attention to preserving the integrity and sacredness of their music. Whenever they perform their sacred music, their performance springs from the heart and it gives followers of Taoism the direction and power they need for self-cultivation. When this musical composition was first completed, Ming Emperor Zhu Di issued an imperial decree, declaring it to be official music for imperial sacrificial rites. In the decree, he passionately stated, the natural order is for the heavens to be clear and the earth tranquil. The ways of the gods are hard to fathom. This is designed to benefit the people. Peace prevails during the reign of Emperor Zhu Di. It was the emperor's sincere hope that under the watchful eye of the god Xuan Wu, the earth would be flooded with heavenly light, people would live in safety, and peace would reign over the world. But why would an emperor place his hopes for peace in his realm and the world on a mountain? Today, when visitors climb Mount Wudang, they are amazed at the extent to which the buildings are influenced by imperial design. On the site that Emperor Taizong, founder of the Tang Dynasty, issued an edict to build the very first imperial temple on Mount Wudang, countless emperors 
express their devotion to this mountain. In both scale and architectural style, all the Taoist temples on Mount Wudang eloquently express the deep devotion of the emperors to this mountain. Nanjing Zijin Chen Li Mian Yau Yi Tiao Jing Shui Ho Beijing Zijin Chen Li Mian Ye Yau Yi Tiao Jing Shui Ho Jing Shui Ho Ah Jiu Shi Yin Wei La Zai Tiao Ho Ah Chong Xi Huang Liu Go Lai Xi Huang Shu Jing Gu Yue Ah Jing Shui Ho Jing Shui Ho Ah Yi Ban La Dou Shi Chong Xi Bei Huang Xiang Jin Lai Dong Nan Huang Xiang La Liu Chu Chu Xi Bei Huang Xiang La Shui Yu Tian Men Dong Nan Huang Xiang La Shui Yu Di Fu La Ma Zai Jiao Tian Di Xiang Tong Jing Shui Ho Ah 啊，就代表了，啊，把天和地啊联系起来了，啊，这就是金水河，属于皇家拥有。When the youngest son of Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang, the founder of the dynasty, was falsely accused of treason by someone who took a front that his house was larger than regulations permitted, his high position in the realm couldn't protect him from persecution. In the end, he immolated himself and his wife and children to escape the torment. The reason this mountain could be revered so highly is that it had become a symbol of the august position of the emperor due to its magisterial size. When Emperor Zhu Di made his additions to the building complex on Mount Wudang, he erected a stele which bore the following. The reason my father was able to ascend the throne is because he received the blessing and protection of the spirit of Emperor Yu, the great of the Xia dynasty. We must also thank him for the peace that now reigns over the land. Zhuanjiang died after that, he did not give the throne to the Yanwang Zhu Di, he gave it to his son, he gave it to his son, Zhu Renwen, which is Jian Wen Di. Then, Yanwang Zhu Di was not afraid, he came from Beijing, Jingnan之意率领军的一直打到南京，夺取了皇权。他的侄子建文帝的下落有说是被火烧死了，有说逃跑了，但和尚去了，不管怎么着吧，反正是皇权归朱棣掌握到了。朱棣的皇权得来之
When the ancients looked skyward to observe astronomical phenomena, the brightest star they saw in the sky was the Purple Star, part of the Purple Constellation. In Chinese legend, this was the home of the God of Heaven. Chinese emperors considered themselves the incarnation of the God of Heaven on Earth. So when Emperor Zhu Di built his palace in Beijing, he called it the Purple Forbidden City. The guardian spirit of the Purple Constellation is the God Xuan Wu, and Zhu Di considered himself to be the counterpart of Xuan Wu on Earth. It was the coming together in the mind of Zhu Di of all these threads that caused him to build a fitting memorial to Xuan Wu in the north. Jianlong Today, as we look back to the time when Emperor Zhu Di built the Forbidden City in Beijing and the Purple Heaven Palace on Mount Wudang, we can almost look at the world through his eyes. He wanted to build a purple forbidden city to correspond to the purple constellation so that Xuan Wu would be the protector of both. And he would build the Purple Heaven Palace on Mount Wudang because this was Xuan Wu's home on Earth. The palace in the north would be the center of imperial power. The one in the south would be the source of spiritual power. Emperor Zhu Di finally realized his dream. He completed both building projects and brought peace and prosperity to the people. When Emperor Zhu Di enshrined Xuan Wu in the central axis of the Purple Heaven Palace, he thought of the Tang Emperor Taizong and the great drought that occurred during his reign. That natural calamity had only come to an end when prayers were offered at the Five Dragon Temple on Mount Wudang. After that, Emperor Taizong decreed that sacrifices should be made to Xuan Wu. During the reign of Tang Emperor Xuanzong, north of the Five Dragon Temple, the Emperor had Xuan Wu Taoist Temple built. A usurper hopes for help from the gods as much as a rightful heir to the throne. And Emperor Yong Le found thoughts of the splendor of the Tang Dynasty exciting beyond measure. Yong Le Huangdi la, ba Zheng Wu Da Di la, qin dao la Zheng Chen Li mian, zhuan men wei Zheng Wu Da Di la, yun jian la yi ge Xuan Wu kong jian, na jiu shi Kun Ling Gong, bei Xuan Wu men li, Xuan Wu gates in the south and the Forbidden City in the north were linked in a unique way. According to Taoist belief, heaven is round and the earth is square, Tai Chi is the source of movement, and yin and yang interact. This worldview, which embodies a kind of simple dialectics, was the worldview through which ancient Chinese understood the world. The unique round lotus-shaped Rui gates of the Taoist temples of Mount Wudang and the square gates of the Forbidden City were designed based on this worldview to express the link between the two sites. Gede na jiu hui ba zhe ge jian zhu na bi yu cheng ning gu de yin fu, tong shi na yu ba yin yue na bi zuo cheng yi ge liu dong de jian zhu. Na wo men zou zai wu dang shan zhe yang yi ge da shan shang na, jiu fang fu zhi shen yu yi ge pang da de jiao xiang yin yue zhi zhong. Wo men xiang xiang zhong, 在云间飘飘下来，用这个呃鹤一样的这个这个视角来观看武当。这个时候呢，武当就会呈现出一个巨大的一个伟大的一个作品，而它的每一个建筑群的点都会成为这一个大的交响乐的每一个细小的乐章。
When the Chinese stringed instruments, the qin and the su are played together, there's a wonderful harmony between them. Both draw our minds back to the ancient past. In the 18th year of the reign of Emperor Zhu Di, when the Forbidden City was nearly finished and the Temple of Heaven and Temple of Earth had just been completed, the Office of Sacred Music was established. This imperial institution was responsible for training musicians and dancers and for preparing the sacred music to be performed in the Hall of Ceremonial Music in the Temple of Heaven. Jianyo Hall, also in the Temple of Heaven, was dedicated to Xuan Wu. The emperor recruited Taoist musicians from all over the country and he selected 400 of the finest for his musical troupe. When we listen to the sacred music of the Ming and Qing dynasties available to us today, we can't help but imagine what a performance of Ming dynasty imperial music must have sounded like. Everything had been done in preparation for the imminent completion of work. From the time he wrested power from his nephew, Zhu Di had never had a moment's rest from service to his country. He had raised an army to suppress the remnants of the Yuan dynasty in the north, and in the south, he had dealt with Japanese pirates. Every night, alone and lonely, music like this would have soothed his heart like a gentle breeze. In the 19th year of his reign, all the major construction work on the Forbidden City was completed. No one could begin to comprehend the myriad of emotions the Emperor felt when he looked upon the nearly finished palace, just as it was impossible to calculate the personal price he had paid to reach the pinnacle where he now stood. One night during the previous few months when work on the Hall of Supreme Harmony, Hall of Central Harmony and Hall of Preserving Harmony was being completed, Emperor Jordi had a mystical experience that made him feel that he'd been struck by a bolt of lightning. Such was the intensity of this experience that, compared with it, all his work since taking the throne seemed like nothing. At this time, construction work on Mount Wudang was also nearing completion. Only the most difficult task remained, completing the forbidden city within the confines of the Palace of Harmony on Mount Wudang. After his mystical experience, the question of whether or not it could be completed successfully became the Emperor's greatest spiritual support. Yunlu 人为的破坏。On every important occasion, Master Wu holds a prayer service with his fellow Taoist monks to pray for the common people. One morning 600 years ago, when the purple gold city of Mount Wudang was nearly completed, the Taoist monks on the mountain busily and nervously prepared to play the incomparably powerful and moving Ming Dynasty imperial music. Wu 高墙围绕着这个山顶，那也是非常的雄伟壮观的。In the year 1424, a grand state ceremony of the Ming Dynasty took place in the center of the country at Mount Wudang. The purple gold city on the mountain's golden summit was finally completed, and during the recitation of prayers. It seemed as if the peak was suddenly bathed in heavenly light. From a distance, the sturdy buildings seemed to be perched on the peak precariously. The wall surrounding the summit has heavenly gates at the four cardinal points that symbolize the vastness of the heavens and the majesty of the spirit world. Mount Wudang has a unique landscape dominated by clusters of high peaks that stand over the surrounding countryside, commanding respect. 
These mountains also provide conquerors with a medium for expressing imperial power and carrying favor with the gods. To Beijing, the Gu Gong, we see the architecture, we see the architecture. 但是登武当，更多你感觉的是山林，是一种云卷云舒之间那种自由浩荡。所以，其实为什么人登山会觉得身心舒朗呢？因为有些境界不在攀援之中是不能体会到的。武当山是很雄奇的，云遮雾绕，在一路攀援而上的时候，其实你能够感觉到。中国的武侠和中国的哲学，中国最宁静的这种道家和那种无为无不为的那种思想。The worship of the god Xuanwu, which was begun by Emperor Zhu Di, continued through the reigns of the Qing emperors Kangxi and Qianlong. Today, changes over time in the names of the principal halls along the axis of the Forbidden City give people an insight into the spiritual support that successive emperors drew from Wu Dan culture. And Tai Chi culture. When the Forbidden City was built, Emperor Zhu Di named the largest hall the Hall of Offerings to Heaven. Ming Emperor Jia Jing renamed it the Hall of Imperial Supremacy, and it was given its present name, the Hall of Supreme Harmony, by Qing Emperor Xun Zhi. Harmony between heaven and earth was an ideal embraced by many emperors. In the year 1535, Emperor Jia Jing built the Heaven One Gate outside Qing An Hall. To make it more convenient for him to offer sacrifices, this gate corresponds to the Heaven One Pool on Mount Wu Dan, and both derive their names from the occurrence of the term Heaven One in the ancient river diagram associated with the I Ching. The Ming Dynasty flourished for over 200 years, during which time emperors prayed to Mount Wu Dan each in his own way, so that the mountain and the god Xuan Wu would protect and bless their reign. By simply being there. They could feel the great awe people had for heaven and earth. In the year 1703, after a long period of silence, Emperor Kangxi inscribed the words "Wondrous Golden Light" in his own hand on a plaque placed on the Golden Palace at Mount Wu Dan. Thirty years later, Emperor Qianlong inscribed the words "Grasp the Central Axis" in his own hand on a plaque placed in Qinan Hall in the Forbidden City. Yuanshu 已经呢，尊到了至高无上的地位，他就成为紫禁城的保护神，也成为明清王朝的保护神。Meaning of the Chinese word "luo," which in modern Chinese means peace or harmony, was musical instrument. Music mediates between joy and sadness, and between dreams and reality. It also fosters universal peace. For 600 years, this sacred mountain, a source of spiritual sustenance for Emperor Zhu Di and all his successors, together with the Forbidden City in Beijing, the symbol of imperial power. Of the most mysterious places in all of China. It's almost as if you can hear the strains of heavenly music. Today, people are still using music to pour out their hearts to this mountain. For thousands of years, the rich and varied tableau of the mountain's landscape has both revealed and concealed the way of nature, and it's never ceased to respond to its human visitors.